The Expanse is my favourite sci-fi TV series of all time. It's one of the few shows that motivated me to go back and read the books that it's based on. The show is definitely a journey, a journey through space, politics and humanity. It's not just another sci-fi series with teleporting and laser beams. It's a richly detailed universe with a story that is as complex as it is compelling. The characters of the show are what really makes it shine. And one of the characters at the top of that list for me is Kamina Drummer. Drummer is one of those characters that you can't help but root for. She's tough, determined, and has this interesting depth that unravels as the series progresses. Her journey from a supporting character to one of the central figures in the show is a testament to the strength of writing of the character and the performance that Kara G gives as the actress. Honestly, Drummer is one of the highlights of the series for me. Anytime that she's on screen, you know something cool is about to happen. So when I heard that Telltale, a development studio that I love, was making a game with Drummer as the protagonist, I was so excited and couldn't wait to play it. I was even more encouraged when I heard that the game was a prequel to the show, so I knew I was getting a glimpse into Drummer's past and learning a bit more about how she, about how she became this fierce leader that I know and love. It's almost like an origin story, filling in a few gaps and adding a few more layers to her character. The story is set in a time where Drummer is still carving out her place in the universe, navigating the dangerous politics of the Bell, Earth and Mars. The game does a fantastic job of capturing the high stakes that I'd gotten used to with the TV series. I love the immersion of Telltale games, and this one does a fantastic job of making you feel like you are living through these challenges with Drummer. The decisions you make aren't just about morality, they're often based on survival and maintaining leadership. And this brings me to one of my favourite aspects of Telltale games, the choices. If you've played any of the previous titles, you know that every choice can lead to a different outcome, making each playthrough unique. In The Expanse, this is no different. The choices you make can alter relationships, change the course of events, and ultimately shape Drummer's character in different ways. It's this dynamic storytelling that has always drawn me to Telltale's games. There's something incredibly satisfying about knowing that your experience is just a little bit different from everyone else's. But it's not just the choices that make the game special. Let's talk about the music and the art style for a moment. The soundtracks in this game are just amazing. It's the soundtrack you can hear in the background right now. It's as hauntingly beautiful as the one in the TV series, perfectly capturing the atmosphere of the game. Whether you're drifting through space or making a tough decision, the music always elevates the experience, pulling you deeper into the narrative. I think what makes the music so impactful is how it aligns with the tone of the story. There are moments where the music swells and you feel the surge of emotion, whether it's tension, sorrow or triumph. And it's one of these elements that you might not notice immediately, but it plays a crucial role in immersing you in the game. This is true for all Telltale games. They always have amazing music. Telltale games have always had a distinctive look too. And this game is no exception. It has this graphic novel kind of aesthetic that I absolutely love. It's not quite cel shaded, but not quite a comic book. It's not trying to be hyper realistic. Instead, it captures the essence of the expanse in a way that feels fresh and engaging. The character designs, the environments, the way space is portrayed, it all comes together beautifully. Another thing that impressed me was the improved movement and controls. If you've played any other Telltale games, you might remember how the movement could sometimes feel a little bit janky. But here, it's clear to see that they've taken feedback to heart. Moving around the environment feels much more smooth and intuitive, making exploration a lot more enjoyable. I love the movement in Zero G too. It's cool being able to twist and rotate to change your perspective or activating your mag boost to walk on the ceiling for a little bit. Now let's talk about the voice acting, because it deserves some serious praise just like in every Telltale title. The voice actress for Kamina drummer, Kara G, brings the same intensity and emotion to the game as she does in the show. It's one thing to see a character on screen, but hearing them, feeling their emotions through their voice, adds another layer to the experience. And it's not just drummer, the entire cast does a phenomenal job, making every interaction feel genuine and impactful. 
And speaking of emotions, there's a love story in the game that I found myself very invested in. There are moments that are very heavy and without spoiling anything, it was a huge motivator for the main story. The combination with a kind of theme song to the love story really amplified how much I cared about it. I don't know about you, but personally I find music to be the most emotive way of delivering any sort of story. Well-matched music can amplify or completely change how I feel about something. It's one of those stories that adds depth to drama's character, showing a more vulnerable side to her. They manage to capture that awkwardness that we all feel when we like someone, but we aren't sure if they like us, and we aren't too sure how to proceed with it, very much like in high school kind of vibes. The way this relationship develops and impacts the story is handled with such care that you can't help but get invested in. With all these elements coming together, it's clear that Telltale is back, and they're back in a big way. After some rough years, it's amazing to see them delivering games of this quality again. The expanse is just the beginning. The Wolf Among Us 2 is on the horizon, and I couldn't be more excited. Telltale has a unique ability to tell stories that resonate, and I'm hopeful that we'll see even more from them in the future. Imagine them taking on other beloved universes like Baldur's Gate or even House of the Dragon. The possibilities are kind of endless because I feel these types of games don't directly compete with any of the other media made by many great IPs. So to wrap things up, if you're a fan of The Expanse, Kamina Drama or Telltale games, the Telltale Expanse game is a game you can't miss. It's a beautifully crafted experience that stays true to the source material while carving out his own space in the universe. But that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. I have a few more videos in this style coming out soon, but I will be changing things up a little bit after that. So keep your eye out for that and thank you all very much.